What's up guys? Uh, starting today's little thing out at uh, the old Best Buy. So, I uh, last night I actually came over here and if you take a look at this right there, that is a, uh, a brand new camera. Um, so this is a Sony RX100V uh, or 5 and uh, Basically, it's like a uh, little Sony, like handheld version of kind of like the Canon G7X. Has like a one-inch sensor in it, and uh, basically films and 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 can film in 4K, and it can do up to 960 frames per second. Um, so like some super super slow mo stuff. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember my dilemma with the whole GoPro and kind of trying to figure out something for you know I guess more frequent videos or. Not necessarily packing around my big uh, X33, which that thing works really, really well for uh, for drift events. And it's kind of funny because Adam basically just got the AX33, and he uses it for his drift event footage now. So he basically just hands it to Nicole or, or whatever, and then whoever's in the stands is helping him film. And it's just a lot easier to film that way. And uh, you know that picks up you know drift event footage really well. But as far as carrying something around every day, this thing is. Uh, it's a lot easier. So just basically right there, small fits in your pocket. And uh, I got a $50 gift card when I purchased it last night. So I came uh, back here today. I got these things, they were on sale for like 65 bucks. They're basically a six and a half inch uh, component speaker. As uh, you know, the Saab, it has ones down there and then up in the the top little thing. And so this this does have the, the Bose system in it with a factory subwoofer, but I am getting kind of a little bit of a crackle out of one of them, so I think one of them's kind of blown in the front up here. And uh, my other Saab did have a uh, an upgraded set of, of speakers in it, so I kind of got used to that. And then you can see here's the the old Amazon Bluetooth thing, and uh, I went ahead and I picked up one of these. This is uh, what we have in Jamie's car. You can see right there. It uh, looks a lot better. It basically has a play button on it fits right here in the little auxiliary port so you just hit auxiliary and then uh, since I do have the the new iPhone that doesn't have or the newer iPhone that doesn't actually have the auxiliary cord in it it's kind of a pain in the butt to like listen to music and uh, you know the Bluetooth thing is really convenient the other sobs it was nice because it actually had the auxiliary port in here so you didn't have to deal with any of that crap but nonetheless I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to uh, to get this stuff installed today because I uh, got some friends in from out of town and we're having dinner with them. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the shop later tonight or not. But uh, nonetheless, I got this stuff. They had a little one-day sale. And uh, I actually got a hell of a deal on this camera too. Normally it's like $999. They had it on sale for $950. But then this one was an open box. So they had it for, I think it was like $780 something. Um, and then it turns out when I was looking at it, it was missing a cable on the inside of it, like the charging cable, which isn't a big deal because it's just a normal USB. Um, and there was another open box up in Denver that was like 635 bucks. Um, so I was like, well, since it's missing this, can we just price match it to that other? So they literally, they price matched this camera down to 635 bucks, which is insane. And it is an open box, but it's basically brand new. So I'm uh, pretty stoked about it. And, uh, Hopefully I'll be able to kind of, you know, I could get some super sick slow-mo shots as well as uh, being able to kind of do vlog style stuff a little bit better. So I guess, uh, let's get her going. Let me delete all my check engine lights before we go. Yeah, look at that. Gonna get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I got a uh, check engine light for my Cadillac converter because I deleted it. Tire pressure monitoring system, parking brake, and then cornering headlamps. But my gas gauge works, so that's pretty nice. Do a little wind noise test to this thing. So uh, you guys were commenting on my uh, my windows needed to be tinted. So I did get them tinted the 70% ceramic, and then now we did the 20% over the top of it. Uh, this is kind of been really crazy recently. Hopefully this wind isn't too bad. But uh, I got some black vinyl I'm going to cover that up with. And uh, so I'm going to do like a little bit of a, kind of a, a roll by because I want to actually hear what this thing sounds like. The sob. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like or sounds like. Damn wind. I need to fix that emblem. That thing's kind of ugly. So anyhow, I got this uh, receiver from my brother. 
I had this subwoofer in my room in my house a long time ago. And uh, so yeah, my uh, my sound system or my stereo system down here at the shop, um, which was basically consisted of like a Logitech thing, like a computer, like 5.1 surround sound thing with a subwoofer. Basically the subwoofer decided it, it didn't want to work anymore. So get this thing, get this thing and some other things and hopefully hopefully we'll have some, some bumping tunes down at the shop again. Checking in on the on the super paint things. These are really nice. I have a little bit of like a smidge of orange peel in them, but not not too bad. A little bit of dust, like little things like oh, you can't really see it. Overall, they look pretty good though, especially with it being black. I should be able to easily cut and buff all this stuff out of there. But I mean, look at look at that reflection. I love stuff straight out of the gun. I feel like it's like the shiniest it's it's gonna be. It's not the flattest it'll ever be, but it's like the shiniest it'll ever be. Um, come over here to the my little sound station. So this little Milwaukee radio is actually doesn't do too bad, and it's actually like battery powered too, so you can like take two events, but it doesn't have any any like subwoofer. And this was that Logitech system that I have. And basically I just have the 5.1 connected to all this crap and then uh, hook it up to the phone. But then since I got the new phone, you gotta use the little Bluetooth thing. And uh, subwoofer doesn't work anymore, so it sounds super, super lame, as you can see. But I had all the speakers kind of hung up around here. So the plan is put that receiver over here and then um, kind of hook up, you know, put the subwoofer down down there. And then uh, hopefully got some boom boom. I'm sick of bullshit, man, I gotta go. All right, so this thing it turns out it's kind of a pile of crap, and uh, so my brother pretty much got it at an auction, and I think he paid like fifty bucks for like a pile of three of them, and uh, there's like two Yamaha ones and this JVC one. So we went to his house and tested it, and it uh, didn't work for like I don't know what what happened. Couldn't get it working. Finally got it working randomly, and it worked. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, we'll bring it. I've already you know on off speaker one, speaker two. All the inputs, all the outputs, all that crap um, doesn't work. So anyhow, this is kind of an idea that I had because this Milwaukee thing actually does sound pretty decent. It just doesn't have that like kind of deep, you know, like thunderous bass. And uh, so anyhow, on the back of this subwoofer, it has a uh, a high a high level input right there. So you can see high level input. And then it has like volume control and kind of like its own like frequency, like so you can kind of adjust the crossover on it, um, or like the the low pass or high pass filter or whatever, so that it doesn't play like music through there. It pretty much only plays you know the the bassy tones. And this thing is kind of a component in itself. It has the tweeter right there, and it has the woofer right here. So I mean, overall, it sounds pretty good. I also got this little uh, thing from Walmart. So this one right here, the little seven dollar Amazon one. It's kind of a pain in the butt because you can't have it plugged in and charging. And so it seems like it always gets in the way and it doesn't work. So this thing, the cool thing about the Milwaukee thing is it actually has a power port in here, USB, and the little auxiliary thing. So it, it basically just plugs right in there. You could kind of change the volume and then pause it and do all that crap. But yeah, I mean, it, it sounds good. So I think, I think I'm almost just going to roll with that. And uh, might actually, you know, drill a hole in here and actually solder these to those terminals. Um, and, you know, because this thing has its own amplifier, so it shouldn't be drawing too much juice out of this thing, I hope. But, I mean, it sounds pretty good. Might be a busy night. Everything is up. Everything is all right. So, I don't know. That's, uh... That's my new stereo system for the shop because I was I was getting ready to hook up all kinds of things. Anyhow, I uh, I'm probably gonna mess with the the speakers and the sob today. I guess might be a speaker day, and I probably should be doing the the Supra or actually the body of the Supra today, um, because it might be windy tomorrow. I don't know. We'll we'll see where it goes. I I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so my brother came over and uh, pushed some pushed some buttons. I don't know what he pushed. These things that I pushed like a thousand times and changed the settings or I don't know, but uh, it, uh, it works now. But it's funny, that sounds a lot better. And uh, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I, I have a center channel speaker up there and then just like a right channel speaker. I basically have them like right and left, but you'd only really hear that one. And I, don't know, I, I think it 
kind of has something to do with the fact that the like the the level like those things are way up there so your ear isn't so it doesn't really sound that good um i got uh this is a song i used in my last last video blue wednesday one <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I, I I did like the way that sounded a little bit better. And like I said, I think some of that has the fact to do with it, that this is actually kind of at your ear level, you know, or actually kind of close to it. So the sound is more directed towards you. Those speakers I had previously, they kind of pointed down, and then I had a couple over here and then moved all around. But uh, I'm not sure kind of what to do with this thing. I mean, I'm kind of a hoarder, but I should probably just throw this, this whole thing away since basically that whole, like, amplifier in it isn't working. Um... Yeah, I think honestly for now, until I get some more speakers, maybe like some more actually like component style speakers other than these little ones, I'm probably going to hold off on using this thing because I, I honestly am I'm pretty stoked on, on the fact that this has like the power cable in there and this thing and it just works. It's just simple, you know, it, it just, it, it's small. There's not speakers running everywhere and everything. So I'm probably just going to do that. And then uh, I have those speakers that I had or that I picked up at Best Buy for the Saab. So I'm pull that thing in real quick. Try to do that real quick, and then uh, I did kind of want to start messing with that stuff tonight, but I have some stuff I need to go home and uh, and do some stuff with the whole tax situation, and uh, so I'm going to do that, and uh, hopefully it goes quick. All right, so I got passenger side done already, and you can see this is the, the driver's side. So basically the factory Bose speaker has kind of this weird little thing, and this basically contours to the, to the, like, the door panel in here so it uh i pretty much had to sacrifice the stock bose ones and just cut them off which uh, like i said that one on that side was kind of making a weird noise so i kind of played with the settings and uh you can definitely feel like hear and kind of feel a little bit more bass coming out of that speaker so uh i guess i'm kind of pumped about that so i just kind of cut this self tappered it right there and um since this thing is it does already have tweeters up in here uh basically these only get like the bassy tones, not like the actual vocals and stuff. So it kind of already has like a low or a high pass filter or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, sounds pretty decent. So I'm not sure. I already tried kind of messing with that tweeter on that side. It's a bigger tweeter. So I almost need to make like a little piece of plastic to kind of go in there. Or I almost thought about like mounting like extra tweeters like right here and just disconnecting those. Um, I don't know. It, uh, I guess I'm just going to smash this thing back together, and then, uh, then I'm going to go home. Yep, there's the, there's the sacrificed Bose ones. Basically, just had to rip off the cones of them, and then cut this little plastic thing, kind of pull them on there. And uh, it's definitely, there's a huge difference in the size of the magnet on this compared to the, you know, the aftermarket ones or the, the little Alpine ones. Uh, those definitely aren't the, the most high-quality ones, and this isn't probably the, you know, the... The 100% way to uh, to go about doing it, but uh, it does sound a little bit better, so I guess uh, that's all I can do now. Um, I definitely need to get the the tweeters or whatever installed. Um, you know that'll probably make a difference. But car definitely looks a lot better with the with the tinted windows, and it's a lot nicer to drive. So stoked about that. I did end up picking up some vinyl. Um, this is some Avery, and this is like a silver. It's like a matte silver metallic. And uh, so I think that is going to be the, the color that's going to go for the Supra or whatever. Basically same as a drift car. But yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Sorry if this was kind of random and, and uh, almost pointless, but I figured I'd give you guys something to watch. Um, and then uh, probably test. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to test buff anything or if I'm just going to spray this thing. And then once this thing's sprayed, then buff all that stuff and then wait like another day or so and then buff the car. But that's going to be like a whole nother process in itself. And uh, I, I'm planning on going to Lone Star Drift uh, on the, I think it's 21st, 22nd. Uh, so basically this next weekend. And I got my order from Drift Motion. So I have a Toyota gasket set for the 2J going in the Supra. 
I have a water pump, two water pumps, two timing belts, some VVTi, a valve cover gaskets, cam seals, a couple other little maintenance things for the S14 because that thing definitely uh, definitely needs a little bit of maintenance because of its uh, you know leaking VVTi gear. Probably do that stuff this week. Also have to do a couple things to the truck. So uh, this week is definitely going to be a busy week for me. And uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I just got to get started. Damn cats. <laughs>